This dinner was by far the most fun we've had as a group. Everyone got along very well, we had interesting and challenging conversations, and at the end of the night, we all felt closer to one another and went home happy and excited to work together over the next couple of years. But it wasn't always like that. This is the true story of eight strangers picked to be on the learning team and have their lives changed. Find out what happens when people start working together and start getting real. The Real World SOM. All right, guys, we need some ideas for our mobile challenge. Chris? Yeah, I was thinking we could do an app for environmental governance in the Amazon. Brian? Another one. Um, I think we can do a branch suspension system for rural areas. What about an app that helps parents teach their children? How about how uh, instead something that relates to traffic? I think they already exist. Guys, Guys come on. Time. It's been two hours. We gotta pick one. All right, so maybe we can talk about nutrition education again. Any thoughts? I guess we could do it. Sure. Yeah. All right. Seems fine. Okay. Do it. No one's against it, right? Yeah. Sure. We had a lot of good ideas, but we just couldn't really pick which one to which one is the best because we are just too afraid to hurt each other's feelings. I think this is because we didn't talk about how we would go about deciding on an idea, so we lack the stru structure and process to move things forward. But like the Orpheus Orchestra, we promoted equality and freedom of expression at the expense of structure and efficiency. So in conclusion, we believe that NutriChild will have an impact on child malnutrition in India because... I felt a lot of pressure performing well for my team, but I didn't feel strong support. Everything came together so last minute, I was trying to memorize my lines, it wasn't an ideal situation. All right, guys, let's keep in mind we only have 40 minutes to get this done. Why, why are we going to get this done? Why are we going to get this done? Why are we going to get this done? Okay, I'm going to go look. Okay, I'm going to go look. Okay, I'm going to go look. What part do I do? Okay, so you take the leg. Okay, okay. Joyce, you take one of the arms. Okay. You take the other arm. And you're going to do the torso. Okay, everybody. It looks like. I think you should do the head. Specialize on the head, memorize the head. Go, 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 go. Wow. That was a lot of noise and confusion. I think we needed a clear leader to help us facilitate the group's overarching strategy. Also, each of us seemed to have our own interpretation of the process, which led to a lot of coordination loss. Excuse me, why are we working on top of my blueprint? Oh, take this. I'm going next. Oh my god. So this was four, four, eight. Yeah. What color? Did you just yeah. work on one blueprint? Uh, hang on, hang on. Where's my blueprint? You should draw it on mine. Sorry, Team Six, it's still wrong. Oh, shit. Oh, what do you think is wrong here? Well, did you, did you know, know if you did the head, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. What about the legs? I'm not sure about the hands. Sure. The hands? No. Okay. Uh, I, I, and the torso? I, I think this is blue. No, that no, was, was black. black. That was black. Sure. Okay. I think it was. No, no, it was okay, black. Okay, black. okay. okay. Joyce was right, it was blue. Uh, thinking back on our readings, that was a clear example of informational influence. Oh man, uh, Lego Man was a super tough experience for our team. <laughs> uh, we kind of just jumped into it without planning, without developing a strategy, and as a result, you know, we just, things just were really uncoordinated, really rushed. We created this snowball um, that just got bigger and bigger, and, we just didn't do ourselves any favors, you know, we just got really disorganized throughout the process and as a result, <clears throat> we didn't complete the exercise. And, oh man, really demoralized and I really just need a friend right now. Oh man, kids don't even know what they're gonna have us do. Oh, this is just so confusing, I have no idea what our task is. Sh no should we, 
Should we just like like let's we got it something let's let's start writing questions. Oh yeah, we can start with questions. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so what do we want to ask them? Well, but I bet you like they can't even answer anything anyway. So what are we gonna ask them? Well, let let we don't know. That, that's what what, so, what sort of questions we should be asking. Yeah, that's a good that's a good idea. Yeah, that's a yeah. good idea. You know, after having such a powerful conversation after Lego Man, it was really just disheartening to be thrown into chaos once again uh, for this assignment. You know, we knew we needed a process, we knew we needed a strategy, but who was going to give that to us? Um, you know, we know that an intervention at the beginning of any assignment will set us up for a success. So, where are our leaders? Guys, let's learn from the Lego Man and Global Mobile Challenge, and let's put out a clear strategy to our workers. Yeah, agree. I definitely agree. So what's our strategy? I think we can divide the puzzle into three subparts, two top ones and one bottom one. And then we can split our team into three sub teams and each of the teams um, tackle each of the subparts. As the managers, we knew that taking ownership of the strategy at the beginning of the task was important. Nutra Child and Lego Man were struck reminders that without a strategy and process, we were doomed for failure once again. Even more, it was apparent that our worker team was freaking out based on the volume of notes that we were receiving. Oh, it's been a long time. Oh, there it is, there it is, there it is. Thank you. Oh my, this is a full set of instructions. Wow. We have a full strategy, I think. Different teams, here's, here's Do we have roles? One team. Wow, yeah, look, they've broken up and up Oh, wow, team. and the pieces, too? Oh. It's like exactly what we're oh, going to Oh, a tanagram. Now I get it. Yes. Yeah. Finally. So you guys good to go? Understand the strategy, the instructions, the yeah. 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 I think I think we got yeah. it. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Great. Super ready. Super ready. Okay, awesome. Are these the pieces? Yeah. Shall we? Yeah. All right, go. Do it, Alex. Done. 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 30 seconds. What can I say? We killed it. That was such a turnaround from Lego Man. Um, I'm not sure how we did it, but I guess the managers felt, you know, really empowered to set the right parameters for the team, and the production team had complete authority to sort of finish the task. Um, I think we all sort of found the courage to break with our past norms and not let our past mistakes sort of get in the way of our success. Um, we didn't sort of feed into this self-fueling spiral that we had seen in the past. So I think we're all really happy with how this turned out. Throughout this week, we learned a lot from the ups and downs that we experienced. Putting together our team social contract really helped us to solidify our norms and also the things we want to focus on going forward. We've committed to mutual respect and also balance of power. To hold ourselves accountable to these goals, we've agreed to start every project with a strategy session to produce a project plan with clear objectives, milestones, and specialized roles, and to vary and match these roles with our strengths and weaknesses, as well as our personal growth goals. Thinking critically about our group process and structure is helping us to avoid coordination losses caused by inadequate interdependence. During the hurricane challenge, we use an ad hoc strategy for crossing the island and a process for organizing our discussion. And we saw better results. We got a synergy score of 22. So the inside session was super helpful in helping our team understand each personalities and visualize them along the insights color wheel. The majority of our team falls along the helper, supporter, inspirer part of the spectrum, where only two of us fall along the reformer, director part. And that explains our difficulties with strategic planning and process building that we've had in the past and shows us that we really need to focus on these issues moving forward as a team. We also want to be more sensitive to motivation loss and the sucker effect. How can we better support each other? We're going to periodically check in with our team members to assess satisfaction levels with our team dynamics and deliverables, as well as progress against our own personal growth plans. To prevent the group think that we experienced with Nutri Child, we talked about the importance of having at least one devil's advocate in every discussion, and about being comfortable with productive conflicts. To underscore this concept, we decided to name our team the Devil's Advocates. We're all deeply invested in ensuring that our team succeeds. There will be challenging moments and our team cohesion will be pushed to the limit many times over. 
but we also know that our passion for excellence and commitment to our team's success will carry us through to achieve our goals.